Hey guys, and welcome back to the show. So this is a funny story. I was actually browsing through my work in progress folder on my PC where I keep all my tutorials that I'm still doing. And I found part four for the Lunar Lander series. I somehow created it and just forgot to record it. So here it is. And what we're going to be doing in this episode is adding a little bit of difficulty to the game. So what we've seen before is very straightforward. Everything's kind of hard coded. The gravity is 0 0.1, I think. And there's one landing spot and it's very straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're going to add three different levels of difficulty. If we expand this, we can see them over here. Cadet, uh, terrain is relatively flat. Pause your game anytime. Gravity is normal. Then you've got hardened. Terrain is more formidable. Thrusters are thirstier. Gravity 15% stronger. Extreme, fewer suitable landing spots. Gravity 25% stronger. 25% less fuel. So some of these... Um, I'm going to actually implement it's especially easy to do the gravity and the thirstiness of the thrusters as well as the less fuel so so we're going to go with those to start with maybe later on in another video we can we can implement some some obstacles so those are these three let's go ahead and create the object difficulty so it's going to be one object and i'm going to use the room itself the create event to create three of them so we're going to have a create over here. We're going to say sprite index equals SPR difficulties. And the image speed is going to be zero because we don't want it flicking through. Then a step event. I'm going to say step. I want to say if position meeting mouse X mouse Y uh, self an extra bracket. So that's basically if we've got the hover. This is a hover effect. The mouse is over this button. Then image alpha is 1. Otherwise, 0 0.5. That'll look quite nice. Then left pressed. Here we go. Mouse left pressed. We want to switch on the image index. So when we create this in our room, I'm going to say create one, put it on the left, give it the zero index over here, and then create the second one, put it in the center of the room, and that's going to be the index one, and then index two is going to be the one on the far right. It's going to be the hardest difficulty, so left to right. So we can use that to then say, well, if we select the various one using the image index, we can set some global variables that make the game a little harder. So let's see, the first one we've got uh, terrain. I'm not gonna worry about terrain in this. That's a little bit more complex than the pausing. We've done pausing before. Gravity is normal, that's a good one. So let's say um, global.grav equals 0 0.1 and fuel equals 100. So that's standard difficulty. I think if we go to the lander itself, let's go to the create event, let's see. Yeah, gravity is 0 0.1 and fuel is 100. So that's where it was at to start with. Just indent those a little bit. And what is the indentation? Oh, it's four. Okay, cool. Then let's go to the, ooh, let's go to the next one. What does the next one say? Here it says terrain is more formidable, thrusters are thirstier, and gravity is 15% stronger. So let's say, I can grab these two that let's say 15 percent stronger so that's one five over there and thrusters there so fuel still 100 i need to make like a a multiplier so a fuel efficiency fuel efficiency so if we make that one then it's the most efficient and if we make it like one point two then it's going to be used more so what we're going to do is whenever we're pushing a button that uses fuel to move for or to propel the vehicle we're going to be timesing that usage by 1.2 so when it's times by one it's the self it's itself it's using the normal fuel but 1.2 shows that the efficiency isn't that great so let's actually just call this efficiency and the third one is 25 percent less fuel so let's go back here Let's leave efficiency at 1.2 and 25% less fuel, so that's 75, and gravity 25%, so that's 125. And put that there. Okay, and then I want to say room go to RM 
um, which is the game mode. Yeah, it needs the game mode. Because this is going to be in the difficulty selection. Speaking of which, let's go and create that. I'm just going to copy menu. Duplicate. RM. Difficulties. And we can just set this to nothing, none, the color uh, black. Get rid of these, remove the instances, there they're gone. And let's go to our creation code. Here I wanna say with instance create layer. Uh, I'm gonna put it 400 pixels from the left and then I wanna use the room width uh, divided by two, so it's room height. Because this is the Y coordinate. Instances layer. Create one times object difficulty. Two of those. And I'm going to set its image index equal to zero. So that's the thing I was talking about earlier. Let me do two of these, or two more of them. And this is actually supposed to be 400. What happened there? And this is supposed to be room width divided by two. And this one's just supposed to be room width minus 400 and then here we've got a one and here we've got a two so each one will be created at a different spot on the horizon horizontal plane and uh, with a different sub image from easy medium and hard now if we go back to difficulties one thing we did promise fewer suitable landing spots for for extreme over here so let's go back to difficulty we need to also have global dot landing spots. I'm going to set that to two. This one can also be two and let's make this one one. So this is going to be quite difficult. Gravity is 25% stronger, 25% less fuel, engines not as efficient, and there's only one landing spot. So we put that there. It does mean that in our game world, in the creation code, which we have here, I need to say, well, for i is equal to zero, i is less than global dot, do I have it in there thing? I do, there it is. Global landing spots, i++. plus plus. Let's create those many landing spots. And already this is using um, random range, so I don't have to do anything with i here. This is just to count that I'll have uh, the right amount. Let's see, is that it? set these up no that's not it so next we have to actually use these properties so i'm going to close the room difficulties over there and let's close this get this other stuff out of the way now we actually have to use these in the actual lander so if we go to the lander let's see what we got in the events so create event gravity and fuel so gravity is now going to be set to global whoa global.grav just like that now this is the gravity of the entire room. Well, I mean of this object in that room. So it's gonna be set to 0 0.1. Then fuel, again, we can just put a global in front of that. Oops, I mean fuel, we can just get rid of that because we're gonna be using global fuel. So actually let's go into step. Can I do a search? I can. Fuel, find and replace, ah, global fuel. Place all? Yeah, that worked. Great. Then we need to look at what's next. Let's see. Okay, so we've used gravity, we've used fuel, we've used landing spots, efficiency. So with the step event in here somewhere, we should have the usages of the left, right, and down keys to thrust us up, thrust us to the right, and thrust us to the left. So here's one over there. And here's another one over there, and there's the other one over there. So check this out. Here's the minus equals 0 0.2. So we want to times that by the global efficiency over there. And wherever we're using global fuel minus equals, so here's one over here. Oh, check that out. It actually uses different amounts of fuel. If you're going left or right, it actually uses 0 0.1. I wrote this, and I'm surprised by the complexity behind it. <laughs> And uh, I think that's it. If it's less than zero, it's zero. Can't operate. We'll save. Um, I think we're good. I think we're golden. Let's see what happens. Did we change our play button? No. We'll wait. Hold on. Ah, we didn't. Play button needs to go room difficulties. 
Okay, cool. Play game. Whoa, here they are. Hover over. That looks quite nice. It's spaced quite well. I mean, I think it's, I think the screen is um, self-describing, but we could add a, a title that says choose your difficulty cadet. Okay, here's our first error. Unknown variable lander dot not set. Ah, cool. Okay, cool. So we've got a we've got a HUD around here somewhere. There it is. And what this is doing is it's drawing there. It's drawing how much fuel the person has. And obviously that's no longer a lander property. That's that's a global property. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, let's try cadet. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything's looking standard. We have two landing spots, but they merged together, so we formed a super landing spot, so that's cool. So gravity is quite loose, no worries there, it's easy. Very straightforward, we've got all the fuel in the world to make our decision on where we want to land, and it can come down nicely, no problem. Cool. Let's go back and do that again, hardened. Okay, so we've still got two. Gravity is a little stronger, you can see that. Slowly but surely we can make it. Whoa, really fighting it there. But again, this one was close, nice and close to us. This was a little easier because the landing pad's right below us, but if I hold down the down key just to stabilize us, it uses a lot of fuel just to stay stable. So I think what we'll do is we'll try that one again. Oh, this is a harder one. Oh, I've got to plan when to use the thrust, when not. 40, we're down to 30%. Oh, 20, it's red, it's red, we eight, we seven, we made it. Great, fantastic. So that really worked out quite well. And what we could do is we could expand on, on these difficulties and then start you know, implementing some terrain to really take this uh, to the next level. Just like that, maybe create a view, create a, a, map, a map that's a lot larger, um, but all kinds of stuff just like that. So if you found this tutorial educational and helpful, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, especially a couple days before, check out my Patreon campaign. Links are in the description. Speaking of which, links to the project files can be found in the description. Also, until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.